Hello, how y'all doing? As you can see, I don't have any eye makeup on right now, and that is because I am going to be doing my first review today. Exciting, I know. <laughs> the cosmetics company that I am reviewing, I say the company because they only have eyeshadows, so they only have one product, so it's not like they got more to judge or anything. FM Cosmetics uh, from Britain. I actually found out about them on Instagram. You know how you can go on Instagram and explore different posts that you could possibly be interested in based on your other uh, likes and who you follow. FM Cosmetics came up in the suggestions, so I started looking through their pictures. They have a lot of swatch videos on their Instagram, and I saw these swatches and I was just like, oh, they are so glittery, so fucking intensely glittery, and it makes me so happy. <sighs> well, let's hope that they're as glittery in person. <laughs> I haven't even opened these yet. I just got them in the mail about four hours ago. Ugh, I've been so excited to open it. I'm so excited to try it. I am really, really hoping that it lives up to my expectations. And that's another thing. I absolutely was not paid to do this or anything. <laughs> totally was not paid to do this. So anything I say is going to be a completely honest review because I spent my own damn money on it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you that it's a sack of shit. But hoping it's not. <laughs> I'm going to film this part of me swatching them for you and also uh, putting something on my own eyes. And then tonight I am going out to karaoke with my friends and co-workers. We get a little toasty at karaoke. Get a little swasty, you know what I mean? We'll see how it holds up to the drunken mess that is me. I will be taking video periodically while I'm out tonight. Let's get to opening this sucker up! I'm gonna block out my address so none of you creepers know where the fuck I live. There's the, uh, the package. Woo! It's a message from the queen! Let's do this! I'll try to <laughs> do this so you can see a little better. All right, there's shit falling out already. Okay. Oh, okay. It comes in a pan, but that's it. It's a little concerning, but let's keep going. But it, it has little instructions on the back. It says, our products are animal cruelty free. I like how they specify animal cruelty free. Were they cruel to someone else in the process of making this? I, I don't know. <laughs> are made using all high quality natural ingredients. Top tips. For best results, slide the brush gently in one direction, ensuring you have enough coating. After receiving the product, we recommend you let it settle for a day or so to get the perfect finish. If after use there is any loose glitter, press it down gently using your eyeshadow brush. Another thing, on their Instagram, they claim, they claim, you don't have to use a sealer. Obviously it helps if you wear a primer, but it doesn't say that you have to use any special type of primer. You don't have to use any special type of tools or anything. And that was actually like the main reason I got these is because I, I fucking love glitter, but I also don't want to have to buy five other products just to put some fucking glitter on my face. Which is why I put those little like jewel things on because all I gotta do is stick some eyelash glue on there and suddenly I'm blinged out, you know? I've had plenty of glittery eyeshadow, but none that are like large particles of glitter like this, where it's like straight fucking glitter, you know what I mean? All right, let's uh, open this puppy. I am going to swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see what they all look like. Uh, just a disclaimer, as you know, I generally, like if I have any skin exposed, I put white face paint on it. Um, I do not have any face paint on my hands currently, because I went to see the addicts last week and I went in the pit quite a bit and of the <laughs> many abrasions and injuries I got, uh, I got these uh, nice skinned knuckles. Not because I was punching anybody, but because I fell 
a lot in the pit. <laughs> Apparently, my my idea was just like knuckles first. So I'm not gonna like irritate them by putting product on them. I got quite a few colors. I got them in like my general color scheme, black, purple, blue, green kind of thing, just because those are the colors that I wear the most often. If I end up liking these in the future, I will definitely buy more because they are three pounds and forty-five. I don't, I don't know what you call like what's after the decimal point in Britain. Is it cents? In America, it's cents. I don't, I don't know. They're, they're relatively cheap. In U.S. dollars, they're about five bucks. You can get a single palette for fifty dollars, or all these magical glittery eyeshadows. This one is being a bit of a pain. Come to me! Alright, I guess I'm just gonna have to fucking hulk through this package. So on my hand, I'm gonna be swatching all of the colors for you guys. Uh, but on my eyes, I'm just gonna be going with red and black. I might put a little bit of purple in there since I got some purple going on. I kind of want to keep it in theme with my outfit. Oh, shit. Just lost part of the black. Yeah, long story short, their packaging leaves something to be desired. I don't know, I'm keeping an open mind. I'm not going to be passing any judgment until after everything is said and done. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much shit and then end up liking them. For this, I'm going to be using this like short bristle curved brush. Bristles are really tightly packed too. I'm assuming since it's glitter, it'll be a little bit easier with the denser brush. Let's start with the light blue first. It's called Sea Blue. Okay, so I was expecting to kind of have to pat the brush into the pan, but when I when I pat it, nothing happens. You have to kind of like scoop it a little. Um, application is a little splotchy. You have to kind of go over it like twice. As you can see, it's a sort of greenish blue. Not too much green to it, but you can see it's very, very sparkly. And the weird thing is, you have to kind of like dig in the pot to get to get the glitter. There's no like deposit on my brush, which which is cool. It's just weird. And I am going to put it away in its little container because I do not trust myself. Their packaging is really cool as far as like what it comes in, this little envelope thing. Like that's sick. But even if it was in a case just the size of the pan and just had a little just a, all I need is a little plastic cover that's that's all I want Bye. so next let's go with the green here's the green again very very sparkly as you can see it's kind of a little bit of a darker green it's super pretty though and again no deposit on the brush <laughs> can't tell you how much that satisfies me so on to the next color and so far I've noticed, yeah, the green is the same way. You kind of have to dig into the pot. I don't know if you can see this, but see that like scoop taken out of there? Kind of used a lot of product for a little bit of payoff. At this point, I'm thinking that this is kind of going to be something that I would put eyeshadow underneath and then I would lay this on top, not something that could just stand on its own. Um, because the, the saturation is absolutely there. Look at how solid that is, you know? That, that could be on its own. But the problem is, these don't blend at all, you know, because it's glitter. And they don't have any color underneath it. It's just, I think, it's just like pure colored glitter, so there's nothing to blend because there's no powder, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you do your makeup and then pat this on top of it. I think that's kind of gonna be what I'm gonna have to do with it. I mean, that's still fine. They're fucking gorgeous. They're so ridiculously sparkly. I love it. And by the way, the green is called Emerald Queen. Let's do the blue next. It's, it's such a weird consistency because it's not like a powder. It's got kind of a liquidy... The glitter comes off in chunks like that. And, you know, as you can see, it's not falling off of my brush. It's like got a weird stickiness to it. I mean, which is how I'm assuming they're able to achieve the no primer thing. Um, so, cool. There's the blue. Super pretty dark royal blue. In fact, it's called royal blue. On to... Let's do purple next. 
Ooh. So the purple so far has been the easiest to apply. It just fucking glided the fuck on. Much easier than the other ones. It has a... Okay. I think they put an oil in this. That's why. Because I'm seeing like a little bit of an oily, shiny residue on part of my hand where my brush dragged, but it didn't deposit any glitter. So I think that's what's going on here. This is a very uh, bluish purple. In general, I'm a, a bigger fan of bluey purples rather than reddy purples. Because those are words. The purple is called Midnight Purple. Yeah, it is very dark. I mean, I love that it's dark, but it's still vibrant at the same time. I really hate when I see a dark purple in the pan, and then I put it on and it's like almost black or something. Now for the red, which is called Red Rubies. There's no place like home kind of shit. That is crazy glittery. In the camera, it almost looks like the, the sparkles are like a yellowy gold, but they're... They're not. <laughs> Sorry. That's deceptive. Wow. I really like this red. Look how fucking intense that is. Uh, standing next to these these other cooler colors, it just... It's awesome. Ah, so pretty. So now for the black. Honestly, I'm pretty excited for the black one. I have a hard time finding black glitter. It's always like black with silver sparkles or something. This is a very black, just straight black. It's already kind of broken, so I'm just gonna try to like scoop it back in to where it should be. It kind of pisses me off. There's not a lot of product in these to begin with, and then for it to, to break, and like, that's kind of disappointing. There's the black. It did get a, a stray red sparkle in there from my brush, but that's a pretty true dark black. This formulation was actually like the hardest one to deal with. It's a lot splotchier than the other ones. It uh, has a different consistency, because like I said, this one crumbled, and I thought that that was maybe shipping or packaging or something, but I think maybe that's just a formulation. It's different than the other ones, okay? Here are all of the colors. Um, just ignore this blue on the far, I guess would be your right. <laughs> it's the same as the one on the far left. Super sparkly, super pigmented. Really pretty. I mean, so far there aren't any trace sparkles like getting on the rest of my hands or anything. So that's, that's a good sign. That's always a concern too with, uh, with glitter is fallout. Especially because I am wearing white makeup. I don't really want colored glitter underneath my eyes. Unless that's like the look that I'm going for. But that's not what I want to do. I'm gonna finish up my eye makeup. I'm just gonna be using a Mi Vida Loca Remix palette. Just to do some like black, red, and purple around my eyes. And then after that I'll go over it with some glitter. I will show you some videos throughout the night to show you how it held up. So I'm gonna get, get started on my eye makeup now. So I am currently putting on my false eyelashes. I only did the red and the purple. You can't blend these at all. <laughs> and I didn't want to put black sparkles on the black and then just have like a great like, line of black glitter. I didn't think that would look too great. 
I put colored eyeshadow underneath uh, because I figured I was going to have to, you know, so that way the color would be nice and saturated. In the process of trying to put on the glitter, it kind of wiped off half of the product that I had put on. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, so I guess before you put it down, just make sure you put extra of whatever color you want, so that way whatever it does wipe off doesn't affect the final product. Even though this looks like super intense on camera, um, I would like the red to be a little bit more okay. But. So another thing to keep in mind with these, I tried to put eyeliner on, you know, in the inner corners of my eyes, but anywhere the glitter was, it was just picking up the glitter and not depositing any color. My eyeliner was just kind of smearing around, and so I quickly scrapped that idea. It's making it a little bit difficult for the adhesive for my lashes to stay on my eyelid. Because uh, usually I can put on lashes no problem, and it's very quick. I'm kind of worried that the inner corners are going to keep peeling up. That concerns me, especially since I can't put any eyeliner on it to kind of connect my natural lash line to the false eyelashes. So that's a little disappointing. Other eyeshadows go over it pretty easily though, so I was able to connect that line between the inner corner of my eye and where the false eyelashes start. Makes me feel a little bit better. This is how it looks. Super pigmented, very bright, very sparkly. Oh man, this is so pretty. <laughs> I just wish that they were a little bit easier to work with, because uh, oh my god, I would wear this like every fucking day. I'm also going to be putting some mascara on too, uh, but I want to wait a second for the lashes to dry before I attempt that because I don't, I don't want them to completely come off. So I am going to go to karaoke now and let's hope that this shit holds up. And notice, there is no fallout on my face. Haha! -ha! Hopefully throughout the night it doesn't fall because I've had eyeshadows like that where you put them on and there's no problem. And then throughout the night you look and you just have like a cloud of whatever and I'm just like, are you fucking serious? Why? Like, so stupid. See you at karaoke. I sang three songs for karaoke, and I work at eight in the morning. So I figured I should probably get home now. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Definitely seems to have held up well. Like, look at how fucking sparkly that is. Oh, it's so glorious. Uh, oh, Whew. bellissima. <laughs> I got compliments on my makeup all night. Not to sound like a dick or anything, but that's not exactly a unique thing, you know? I typically do get compliments on my makeup, but people were just like, oh my god, wow, your eyeshadow is so pretty. I'm like, yeah, bitch, I know. I'm definitely going to have to learn how to work with them more because they're a different kind of beast, but they're a beast that I would like to tame. So <laughs> I will see you at home. So I just kind of realized that I've been filming everything vertically at this point. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. That was a completely idiotic thing to do. I know that I hate when people film videos vertically, so I don't even know why the fuck they did that. <sighs> the things you think of after the fact, right? 
there is a small amount of fallout, but it is definitely much less than I had anticipated. I will meet you inside the house. I just wanted to show you how the makeup looked in this bright white lighting. All right, time to get up close and personal because I am trying very hard to be quiet right now because it is about two in the morning and my partner has to work at six in the morning. <laughs> so I thought that since I was home, I would give my final honest review. And I'm going to lead with how many stars I would give it out of five. Out of five stars, I would give the glitter eyeshadows a solid three. I am a tough critic when it comes to makeup. I know what I want, know what works for me, and I know what doesn't. I like things that are long lasting, that I don't have to reapply often, I don't have to clean up after, I can just put it on once and it's over. As you can see, there is a slight bit of creasing even though I put two types of primer on, so I feel like my only complaint my only complaint, but it's kind of a major one. I mean, on the website it says eyeshadow single pans, and so true, that would suggest that it's just the eyeshadow itself. I can see that now. <laughs> but why? Why? Because so they do have palettes, but you can't customize the colors, as far as I can tell, unless I'm wrong then correct me by all means, but from what I can tell, you can't customize the colors. There's two palettes and they come with a specific set of colors and that's what you get. Some of those colors appeal to me, but not all of them. So why the fuck would I buy a palette, you know, if I'm not going to use half of them? So I feel like they should either sell separate palettes that are empty that you can put into that are hopefully cheap because the fact that I even have to pay for a container to put my makeup in is kind of ridiculous to me. So I feel like I'm just going to basically have to keep them in these little envelopes that they came in. I mean, I, I like it enough to deal with it, so. Pros. Highly pigmented. Lots of fucking glitter very cheap. They they look good under pretty much any light and that's pretty unique in eyeshadows. Most eyeshadows you put them in one lighting and you're just like, oh it's so beautiful. In every other lighting nobody can even fucking tell what color it is. But this is just like cons. Shipping. I'm aware that it's from a different country but Shipping costs more than a single eyeshadow. Issue number two, packaging. At least have some sort of plastic cover over it or some sort of something to snap on the top of it because you just expect me to have like fucking empty pallets laying around? I don't know who you think I am, but <laughs> not that bitch. But anyway, I am very, very tired. <laughs> and I should have been asleep long ago. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, you know, if you would like to see me do more reviews, just let me know. This is the first time I've ever done one. If you have any comments or critiques, just let me know. Because, you know, I, I would like to know if there's something that I could do better, or, you know, something to make my videos more enjoyable. You're the one watching it. I want to make sure that you enjoy yourself while you're here, you know what I mean? Please be constructive about it, don't be nasty. I can be nasty right back, and you don't want that. Thank you very much for watching, and FM Cosmetics, I am impressed. <laughs> if you have listened to all of my complaints and, and none of these matter to you, or they're not as big of a deal to you as they are to me, then, dude, this eyeshadow is the shit. If you are an individual that shares my concerns, 
you may think twice, but I definitely think it's worth a try because even with all of the things that I wasn't so thrilled about, I fucking love how it looks. I hope you have a good day or a good night or whatever time zone you're in. And until next time, stay safe. Mm.